Hey guys, welcome to the next episode of the career mode of Chepo de la Torre, A Road to Glory, guys. So hopefully, guys, we could say, uh, we could uh, win the title because we are a little bit down in the table. Right here, guys, we considered a penalty and we're going to have Iker Casillas try to save this penalty, guys. Uh, right here, he's going to take the shot. So we decided to go to the left, guys, to our left and we save uh we save that penalty saving us from a loss right here guys so the, right here guys they got another chance but that went so up the the goal that it wasn't gonna be a threat uh to casillas and then they started making some time you guys see in the 90 minute um and the game did end in a zero zero guys so uh it's not gonna be a problem there guys so we we're gonna go into our next game guys and hopefully we could walk out with our three points that we really need to uh, if we want to catch up that first spot. So we were going to be facing um, Gu Guimar uh, Guimares. Hope I said it right. I probably chopped it, guys. Right there, they got a first opportunity, but we do have Casillas intercepting that. And then we got this great opportunity with Marco Fabian. And Marco Fabian missing, guys. So uh, the second game did also end in a 0 0 draw, guys. So one point for each, um, each, each team. It's not a bad thing guys but remember we need to pick up more wins guys so we were actually gonna be facing the team where uh set set two ball with ulysses davila actually plays guys so right here guys and i'm gonna show you how ulysses davila's kind of make made us a little bit of suffering right here ulysses davila with the ball um he causes to get a penalty so See, he gets a penalty for his team, so they have the opportunity to get up. And they try the Panenka, Panenka penalty, and they ended up missing, guys. So right here, an opportunity when Marco Fabian passes to Correa, and Correa puts it in the back of the net, guys, making it a 1-0 for Porto, guys. Um, are you guys also, I want to tell you guys, are you guys hyped for El Clasico? I don't know if Messi is playing, but hopefully he does play. Uh, just to be a very good match to everyone need to see and right here guys before uh, we uh, we talk more about El Clasico Tello with the goal guys making it a 2-0 so yeah guys I am gonna watch the game I don't watch that much um um soccer from Europe and the reason is guys that I have to wake up pretty early because I live in the Pacific zone you know and a lot of matches are very, um, very early right here. That's the reason I don't watch the BPL because when Chelsea is playing, this is the team that I follow on the BPL. It's always at 4 or 5 in the morning and it's just hard to wake up and watch those games. Uh, so right here, guys, we were going to go face um, Muriense. Um, so we needed to get a victory, guys, in order to go up in the in the table and right here guys they get this opportunity they do a cut inside he shoots hits the bar and then they get a header and put in it in the back of the net and we are now losing one zero guys so so yeah guys what are you guys expecting of a classical hopefully it's a pretty good classical uh hopefully messi is um it's it's better to get into the classical and he could be in the classical from his injury guys so right here guys in the 90 minutes we get another opportunity and look at that miss from Orbelin Pineda. He had the shot guys and he ended up missing in the 90 minutes. So that's going to be a loss for us. Um, and I do believe it's going to be our first loss. So you guys see right there guys Benfica first place. So we we're actually going to play against Benfica guys. Um, so right here guys you see the top players of the clubs Marco Fabian with six assists being the first one in the uh, in the club and um, He meant as being the second goal scorer in the Liga Portuguesa. So it was gonna start right here guys um, Benfica gets this opportunity with that free kick. So uh, we managed to give them a free kick So they were gonna be shooting that free kick. So hopefully guys we do not consider that goal and Let's see what, what they did right here, guys. They tried to score, but it wasn't a problem for Casilla. Uh, they was pretty good there. Then, guys, Marco Fabian gets that opportunity to score, and he's not going to miss that, guys. And he's going to celebrate with his teammate, with Dedos Lopez, which is 
currently as a sub guys but i'm thinking of actually making them in the first team putting him as the first player and you guys will see why i put i want to put him in in as the first player uh in the team over uh paul aguilar and you guys will see in the in the next matches why i want to do that guys so right there you guys see the goal of marco fabian putting it one zero so we're beating benfica uh, Benfica gets this great opportunity, but they ended up missing, guys. So remember, right here, guys, Correa. Correa sees Marco Fabian right open in the middle of the of the area, and he gives them the pass, and Marco Fabian is not going to miss that. Marco Fabian scoring that amazing uh, goal to score the 2-0 uh, in favor of Porto, and that's going to put us a little bit up there, guys, putting us in the first spot for the title. Uh, right now Benfica is still in the first place I believe but we need to keep winning more matches guys if we want to be the league title uh, league title champions so so we don't get fired from FC Porto because we don't we don't want Chepo to be looking for a new job right at the end of this season guys of course we don't we want to keep we want to keep an FC Porto so the game did end in a 2-0 game guys so it was time guys for the copa so i decided to make a second squad goal called the copa and we were gonna give chance to those players that weren't playing like gudinho dedos lopez all those players that we brought as uh, as a subs so right here guys like you guys see uh, we give them a chance but right there guys they get a free kick and they get this goal gudinho couldn't do anything about it so uh, scoring a uh, the first goal on Gudinho and that's gonna be in the Copa against Braga guys Braga right there scoring that first goal and then guys they get this great great chance to score and they put the two zero so basically guys we were being disqualified by now from the from the Copa so we needed to do something try to get back I did win um, all our attack guys but it wasn't actually a help. Uh, we ended up losing the match actually to zero guys so we were disqualified from the cup game uh cup so our our next league match was gonna be against Marit maritmo hopefully i said it right guys if i if i did a mistake sorry guys um try my best with the names so right here guys we get a, a opportunity to score with with here when we shoot guys in that goalkeeper uh, managed to get that guys and then we get this great opportunity with Marco Fabian and the goalkeeper had it in his hands and he ended up scoring in his own net although the goal was given to Marco Fabian but it looked like it was a own goal for me guys look at this look at the, this replay right here guys Marco Fabian gets the ball he shoots it looks like he hits the goalkeeper hands going into the uh, net so that's gonna be a 1-0 guys so we are winning the game guys but now right here guys we get another opportunity with Gutierrez and somehow that's a penalty guys so we got a penalty in a favor we could make it a 2-0 guys in order to um keep winning this game and we get those three points they're very good for us guys and remember we need to get into there guys to be in the first spot so Right there guys, the 2-0, and it was from Raul El Dedos Lopez who came as a sub in the in the second half, guys. Uh, I don't know if you guys want me to show subs. I tend not to show subs because, I don't know, I just don't tend to do it. But if you guys want subs, tell me. So we we're not going to face Braga in our stadium, um, and it was going to be in the league now. So we now were going to be facing Braga in the um in our stadium um remember we faced them in the copa game and right here we almost score and we miss with the second shot and then we get this opportunity and we get a penalty guys we get a penalty Teo is gonna take this and Teo shot and the goalkeeper from braga um scoring that and they get this opportunity right with through ball and they ended up scoring the goal making it a 1-0 guys so we are actually also losing in this game so hopefully we could do something guys remember we don't want any more loses and right here guys um get we get a great opportunity and that's gonna be a goal uh and that's gonna be the equalizer guys 1-1 from osvaldo 
the uh, a striker this in Porto. They actually, am I thinking of transferring since his contract is actually expiring in six months, guys? So if we can sell him and get us some money for him. That would be amazing because uh, he's not playing that much just as a sub in. And the game did end in a one on one, guys. So it wasn't a really bad match. Uh, one on one would take a point to um for each team. Uh, that would put us a little bit up in the table. We're now in four play. Braga is in in the top with um with almost the same points as Benfica. So we needed to actually do something, guys. Come back right here. We get an opportunity. The goalkeeper saves. Tejo gets the ball back. He cuts in in the area, and he scores the first goal, guys. Of Porto to make it a 1-0, guys. And hope, hopefully, we could walk out with those three points, guys. We really need to get there. The league is going shorter and shorter. That means that we need to. Score to win the most games if we really want to win the title because I have a feeling this is going to be a very close match between those three, three teams between Sporting between 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 um, Porto and between Benfica those three teams guys are going to be so into into the league they're going to be fighting for that title and I think it's going to be a very close um, close match close fight to get a title guys so the game did end there guys with uh we did manage to lose that game one zero so it was time guys for some some transfers guys so they wanted a uh, undinense wanted a, that striker so we did uh send him you give me 20 million i'll give you him so porto auction um porto decided to sell to everton if would you give us 20 million we'll sell them to you so our next game guys was actually gonna be now in the house of Braga so this is gonna be the second game against Braga guys now uh, so I think what happens in the Liga Portuguesa once you you play the first uh, the all the teams you now begin playing them going backwards so now we were gonna be facing Braga and right there guys we ended up scoring the first goal with Portugal Tello of course scoring that goal uh, making up for for uh, missing the penalty against Braga in the first game in the Liga. And look at that shot from from Teo, guys. Teo is just such an amazing player, guys. I've been I've been enjoying playing with him. Right here, guys, we get a free kick, and I decided, guys, let's go with the best free kicker in Chivas. And I think he deserves way more best free kicks. He's pretty good. And that is El Dedos Lopez, guys. So we were going to shoot Dedos Lopez. For some reason, I couldn't find him. He was in the top. So we went with Dedos Lopez. And look at this. A 32 yards free kick. And that's going to go in the back of the net. They couldn't do anything, guys. Once Dedos gets into the free kick, you're yes doomed for, for a amazing golazo there. You know? And there you go, guys. That's that goal from El Dedos Lopez once again. And he is has two goals in the Liga Nos. He should have more goals if he was a starter for our team. And which I am actually thinking of starting him now, guys. So the game did end it in a 2-0, guys. Which it was a very good match for us. So um, I got an offer for Diego Ro uh, Reyes. Uh, I was gonna say Lopez, guys. Sorry about that. Diego Reyes, and we did not accept that. Um, if they want Diego Reyes, they have to pay a lot for him. So, and then we got an offer from Undinense, and some of you guys requested for me to get Aquino. So I decided went to Tigres ask for Aquino, although he might be like a super sub for me, guys. So our next match, guys, uh, it was gonna be the second guy a game against Martimo. Uh, I think that's how you say the name. And you guys see right there, Marco Fabian, the best Liga assister versus um, the four Liga on goal scorer. So it was going against Martimo. Um, and Martimo get this opportunity right here. But of course, we have a pretty good um, defending there. Um, and in the not end it. But then they got this opportunity and they ended up scoring to Iker Casilla. Iker Casilla couldn't do anything about it guys uh, so that was gonna be a 1-0 down and we ended up guys right here in the last minute 
Uh, we pass the ball to Hector Herrera. Hector Herrera somehow gets that shot and gets reflected and scores the 1-1. Uh, one, one. The equalizer, guys, in the 90 minute, just before the match was going to end, we managed to tie the game. The whole team is going to celebrate that. That that means that we going to res rescue a point to go into the title fight, to still be fighting for the title, guys. So hopefully we could win the title, guys. That's the only goal they gave us that we have to win the title if we don't want to get fired. So the game did end in a 1-1, one, one, guys. One, one point for us and one, go, one point for them. So right here, guys, we got a a message that from Tigres saying, Tigres, we accept. Now we had to go with an agreement with Ginak uh, for his transfer and also with... Um, with Aquino, but we send an offer to Tigres first with Aquino for him, for Correa. Uh, I think it's uh, like a no big. Uh, I know it's some of you guys might not like that, but uh, Ginak is coming. He's gonna be our first uh, striker, so we got an achievement for signing a a world class um, player, I believe. So um, that was a nice achievement to get because we signed uh, Ginak, and our our next game was gonna be against. Parea, Parea. Hopefully I said it right, guys. So we were gonna be facing them in the first game uh, of of the debut of Guinea, guys. But first, we were in fourth place with 38 points and uh, Sporting with 44 points. So we pay um, 18 million for Guinea, guys, to come to our club. Um, which I was surprised that um, Tigres accepted 18 million because they were asking asking for around 24 million for him and they managed to accept uh, the 28 um the 18 million guys right here guys they get an opportunity by Casillas pretty good on the on the on his area saving that right here we get the ball back and we ended up losing it and they ended up should get reflected on us and ends up being a goal for for uh, the other team for um Parea um, so right here guys we get an opportunity with a free kick and you guys know the story who is gonna take a no other than El Dedos Lopez putting back in the net and once again saving the game uh, on the equalizer 1-1 one, one. and you guys see Dedos Lopez with a celebration guys I have to say I've been enjoying putting Dedos Lopez I have to say he has win his number one spot in our team now guys we are going to replace him for Aguilar. Aguilar might be our next um, CM or something. We could maybe, maybe put a CM there. But uh, he's definitely going to replace Aguilar. So we have a 1-1, one -one, guys. And I have to say, a lot of ties, guys. We need to start winning games if we want to go into the top. So it, the transfer window was about to end. We had 10 hours to to get new signings so i decided to vo go for gabby we needed a c a cdm that was good and passing i have been a fan of gabby since he was playing in real zaragoza uh, when aguirre used to be the manager uh, so we went with gabby a gabby ended up accepting guys so uh, welcome to our team senor gabby and then guys some of you guys asked me to get Moreno so we did send an offer to PSV they ended up accepting he ended up accepting but guess what we didn't have enough money to um to get him so we ended up not actually getting them because we didn't have enough money to pay um the value of his card or, or the money he was requesting guys so right here guys you are seeing my team right now so i hope you guys have enjoyed the video guys and i'll see you guys next time have a great day